All right, guys, welcome back. So this is a bit of a different one now. This is not really... Well, it is. It's about World of Warcraft, obviously, classic and retail, in fact. But it's not specifically about the game itself. It's about how to multibox. So when I say multibox, this is how I am multibox. And this is not breaking any TOS or anything like that. You know, they recently changed the rules where you can't use hardware or software to mimic key presses or key clones across Windows. This is not like that. You're actually technically controlling both characters, but you can cast independent. But yes, this ain't for everyone because you do need a few things and no, this video isn't sponsored by anyone So don't think this is some sort of market employ. In fact, there will be affiliate links in the description But if you want to use them use them if you don't whatever it's not about that It's about people who have been asking how I do it So they've seen me do it on stream So I'm switching between windows on stream as well So they can see what I was on a hunter and a druid at the time I can see what my druids doing see what my hunters doing and they can see both of them casting different spells But not at exactly the same time or I could you be using one to heal one the other one's still cast in so you know you, there's complete control over both characters but you do need a few things <laughs> So let's talk about what you need first. And now I'll put my hands up. Some of this might not be for everybody. And the reason I say that is because if you haven't already got these things, then it can be quite expensive to get started doing it. So, you know, that I completely understand. But basically, you need a laptop or, or a spare PC. So you need your main gaming PC. But then, yes, you need to run well on a second PC or laptop. Remember, it can be an old rubbish laptop that's been lying around for years because... Uh, let's face it, it's WoW Classic. It really doesn't. You just have all the settings cranked down low. You're hardly ever going to use that that particular window anyway. So just anything that you can run a second WoW on. Then you're going to need a decent mouse. And the reason I said decent mouse is in... The, the, you've heard me talk about the Naga Pro or Naga Trinity before. I mean, though that sort of mouse would be ideal where you've got lots of buttons on the side. You really want to be using like the old traditional Naga that's got, you know, 12 buttons on the side or whatever it is. The more buttons, the better. I mean, me personally, I use... Let me check drop my mouse mine's just got seven so i find for just grinding and stuff like that seven is fine but to be fair i could probably switch up to the the bigger side panel on the naga trinity and it would make it actually probably it make my life a lot easier but i'm sticking with a seven just for demonstration purposes at least anyway and then you've heard me talk about it before you've seen two of them on my desk because i use one to control one pc one to control everything else including some actions that i do in wow yes a stream deck or something similar you've got to remember you can get sort of mini sort of stream decks that do the same things just extra buttons on a small accessible panel you can get ones outside of the elgato stream deck i personally wouldn't use anything but the stream deck that's why i use two of them because i think the things that you can do on it it's just very flexible it suits my needs but actually there's a new ava media one coming out the nexus not got great reviews at the moment and it is a touch screen rather than panel but keep your eyes open for that because that might be quite cool and actually that's all you need there are some extra bits i use but that's mainly for streaming or just for ease for me so i mean i'll quickly just run through the extra couple of bits i use anyway so i use a capture card obviously because i have a capture card so my second pc is set up behind me and then i use a capture card from there into a splitter and i've got a splitter right next to me here and then this this splitter basically when i press this button next to me it will then switch my top screen so as you can see i've got three monitors it will switch my top monitor to the other PC if that makes sense so the bottom two screens I'm still using for this PC that I'm sat playing on so I can have my stream open on one and I can have my wow open on the other and then when I press the, the, the little button next to me it will then switch the, the top screen to the other PC so now I can see my other wow running on the other monitor at the top and if I don't need to see it, I can just switch it back and I've got my third monitor back so the, a couple of extra bits that I have but just you don't need them to be able to do this that's just how I have mine set up because obviously when I'm streaming I want to be able to switch backwards and forwards I don't want an extra monitor specifically for that PC uh, because it's, it's actually plugged into a big telly right in front of it anyway so so I, hopefully that sort of just clears up how mine is sort of set up now briefly let's just go over why it needs to be like this so you can't press a button to, and it key clones. You can't clone a key using software or hardware across multiple windows. Now, there are other ways of multiboxing, don't get me wrong. So, you know, you can sort of highlight, so you can have all the windows open on one screen, you can highlight over, press buttons on it, on it, or you can even have like speed key set up. So if you were to like spam two, it will alt tab and press two, alt tab and press two. So it will switch between, you know, however many windows you've got and keep spamming that button. That's great, but I don't feel like I've got control over my character like I have doing it like this i think there's loads of ways you can do it and it, you know if there is a way that you do it that i've not sort of thought of let me know in the comments but for me personally having a dual pc setup and using the stream decks and a decent mouse 
you know, I feel like I've got control over both characters at all times. But you got to remember, having it like this does not break any Blizzard TOS or anything like that at all because you are technically running a WoW on each machine and controlling each of them with two different hands. Your right hand is controlling one one WoW and your left hand is controlling the other technically, but it's not like that because if you look at how I play now, that I you know, I switch backwards and forwards between the Tartarus and then up to the stream deck, the 15 button stream deck, which is controlling my second PC. I don't really want this to last too long, but let's just quickly jump in and I'll show you sort of if we was to start a couple of level 1s, I'll show you how I go through this sort of process and how I've got everything set up. So we'll look at the software for the stream deck, which is obviously this this particular smaller stream deck is plugged into my second PC, which is running the second well. Obviously the big stream deck you see, that's that's just for me, just for everything on this PC and for like buffs and markers and professions and stuff like that. It's the smaller stream deck next to me, which that's actually what's gonna be basically controlling the second character. So I think first what's probably worth jumping into is the mouse. So if we start with the mouse because it's probably the most boring bit to get out of the way. So like, like you can see I'm using the Razer Nega Trinity and I've got the this left hand panel one at the moment which is just seven buttons. Now you can quite literally just have this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, really, it is that simple, and that's why I said, you know, we'll get the boring bit out of the way. If you was to use the, the bigger side panel, obviously you've got more buttons, so you've got more control. This is probably what I would recommend getting used to, but I think I'm a bit of a creature of habit, if I, you know, if I'm completely honest, because I've just used this side panel for so long, this one just doesn't feel comfortable to me. So that is a very personal thing. I mean, I make do with modifiers and that, so how I actually am going to have this set up now is these two top buttons I'm going to have as shift and control. And this is specifically just for multi-boxing. So I'll go to my sensitivity stage up, I'll go to keyboard function, and I'll rebind that top one to shift. So this now will give me an extra seven buttons on the side, which I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. And we'll set the, the sensitivity down to alt. So now what that's done is if we just get back off of this, when we go to this side one, if I now press that button on the top of the mouse, it's then gonna obviously shift it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shift one to seven, alt one to seven. That's plenty of keys to use on my main account. Now with the mouse software, that was just a basic step that I wanted to get out of the way. Now the next step is gonna be, well, this is basically to create the characters. Once we've got the characters created, this will sort of probably dictate how you have certain things set up. And that will make sense in a minute because when it comes to the actual stream deck, we are gonna be, we're gonna be using the actual icons. So if it's a warrior that we've got on our second account, on the stream deck, it's gonna show the heroic strike icon or the charge icon or whatever. So that way you don't get confused thinking, what's this button do, what's that button do? You can have a quick glance down and you've got the icons there. It's almost like the wow bar is on your stream deck. you know. And that's why I like this method. Because it can get quite confusing. When you're trying to control two characters, don't get me wrong, you can be like, oh, what's this button do again? What's that button do? But when it's so visual and you've got the actual WoW icons on the stream deck, it just makes life so much easier. So what we'll do now quickly is I'll just create a couple of level ones. Doesn't matter what they are. I'll probably go for some sort of DPS and healer combo just because if I'm completely honest, I would say DPS and healer is the easiest way to go. Having the healer on the second account, double DPS works just fine. Tank and healer works just fine. The only thing I try to steer clear of is any melee and hunter combo because I've, I've been playing feral druid hunter and as a first if you're if this is the first time you're going to try this setup going with a hunter as your second character whilst it's really good it's also quite awkward because you have to remember to keep taking it off a of follow to start auto attacking you know as it's run as your druid or, or your melee class is actually running in otherwise you're going to end up in melee range on the hunter which you don't want now you will get used to that it's not an issue and you know Obviously having a hunter on follow works absolutely phenomenally because they do so much damage and don't really need that much attention, you know, paid to them for them to do good damage. So while it's it's very good, it just wouldn't be my recommendation to run some sort of melee hunter combo until you're a bit confident with this. I would stick to sort of melee healer, melee range, double range, you know, whatever way you do it. Maybe even stick to two of the same class to begin with. So you're just literally spamming double frostbolt, double fireball, double, do you know what I mean? Do it like that. But that's just my advice. How you go into this is entirely up to you. Me personally, I absolutely love having a healer on follow to me at all times whilst playing a warrior. 
So we'll do a warrior healer setup. Not sure what one, probably priest. But we'll do a warrior priest setup. I'll get those two characters made. We'll jump in and we'll have a look. Right, so we've now made two characters. So we've got a warrior and a priest. I'll just show you. We're in game on both of these now. So we've got our lovely priest. This is actually running through my capture card. So this is my second PC character. And then we have my warrior, which is on my main account, which is on this PC that we're playing with right now. So there's a few things that you're going to want to do first. And this is basically just ease of group function. So I would recommend getting an add-on, something like Leatrix Plus, or just any, any add-on which will automatically accept group invites. That means you'll just have that running on the second account. So when you just invite your character on your, you know, your main account to your second account, you don't need a keybind or anything just to accept the group. That way you only need something to like to follow and target and stuff like that so if we start with some basic macros that you're going to need and then we'll go on to the stream deck software and how all of this comes together so now we are on our we're on our second account so this is our priest so firstly i have basically a follow macro set up at all times so uh, it doesn't matter what character i'm on it will follow whatever character i'm on basically there's no better way to explain it so if i just show you if we just go to uh, macros quickly and then I've got a follow macro here, which target Ivor Hardy, Bender, Nicola. <laughs> You're going to have to forgive some of these names. Um, so yeah, anyway, I so then all I'll do is just add this new character to this list, so which is no name needed. So that means now when I put this in the bar, it doesn't matter where I put it at the moment. Let's just put it in number four for now. And then all of this will come together soon. So if we put it in four, now all I need to do is when I press four on this character, obviously it will target my main and it will follow it. So then if I go to my main character i start moving obviously it's going to follow apologies if this seems a little bit basic at the moment we will get a little bit more um a little bit more advanced in just a second but you know that's just the basics of what you need and then obviously for the time being because i don't actually have an add-on installed because i've only just started setting this one up well i've got it installed i've just not got it set up so uh we'll just get them grouped up now that's obviously very basic that's to follow the character now we want to start setting up the stream deck specifically for this character and this is an important part and i say this is an important part because you don't want to keep redoing your stream deck you want a new profile for each character so let's just dive into that and i'll show you what i mean so i've just really quickly just set up a few different profiles so you can see when you go on your stream deck software once you've got one of these uh, obviously i've got just the one stream deck plugged into this pc so if you drop down you add multiple it would show multiple and you can also add stream decks to mobile devices so when i'm on my hunter i always have wasd in the middle just so it gives me that that bit of control on the character you know without having to worry about having a keyboard or a mouse you know I, let's say it come off follow and it was just a little bit too far away i can just strafe move it forward backwards whatever you know just to get it in range to then hit the top left button which is follow now you can see on here i've not really got many buttons at all i've got my mount so it'll obviously mount my hunter up i've got it's, it's a steady shot macro basically and then aspect of the hawk aspect of the pack and jump obviously this was just really quickly just to show you that you know this is sort of how it would look but this ain't how, it, how it's going to look for you because we're going to do yours properly now i've also sort of got one for a mage that i've quickly just put some buttons into but we're going to go to a new profile and we are going to rename this one to priest so this is going to be our, if i could spell this is going to be our priest and when we go back to general we can just get rid of all of this and now we've, we've got a welcome button we can just get rid of that so now we've got a blank stream deck to now set up Okay, so first of all, if we just start with, like I said before, we'll have W, A, S, and D. So we've just have our, we'll have our movement keys here for now. I'm smack bang in the middle just because it's uh, it's comfortable to come off of the Razor Taras and straight onto the stream deck and know exactly where those buttons are. So if we just put in some hot keys here, so we'll just have W. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll copy. It. We'll just copy and paste this and then just change the change the binding. That will make it quicker. So we'll have W, A, uh, sorry, W, S. A and D. So this is now our movement keys. And then if we did want to just put jump in as well, we can just put jump in for now. So we'll put another hotkey in and then we'll just assign that to jump. Obviously you can name these just in case you wanted to see them and you can even give them some logos, which is what we're going to do in just a second. But we'll just leave these as it is for now. I'll just title those just so it's a bit clearer when we actually look on the stream deck in a minute. Um, so we know as a as a priest, if we have a quick look at our priest, you can see look, all, all we've got is lesser heal and smite. So we're going to want both of those set up. But we're probably going to want to be able to heal in, you know, do a, a lesser heal on either our priest or our warrior. Now you can do this with some some macros if that's what you want to do. Where if you was to hold shift, it will heal yourself, or if you was to hold alt, maybe it heals party member two or three or whatever. However you want to do it. But just for simplicity, because that you can play about with yourself anyway. For simplicity, all we're going to do is we're going to have two lesser heals. So what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, another hotkey. 
and um, we'll just copy and then paste that next to it and let's just set one of these up so this one will be we'll say this is lesser so lhs so lesser hill self and then we'll bind that to let's say oh, we'll do it to, we'll do it to number one and then we'll have this one as lesser lesser hill warrior um, we'll have this as number two and then in number three we'll just copy and paste that and then we'll put in number three will be smite uh, and we'll put that as number three for now so obviously you get where this is going but what you can do now if you get a wow icon pack so if we look for lesser hill in this icon pack this is where we can start to make the stream deck look like it would in game basically so we'll go to our icon pack we'll go to abilities Get this so we can actually tell what's what otherwise we'll be here all day so we'll set this to large uh, and let's scroll down to let's try and find a hill well pref preferably lesser hill it seems quite difficult to find all right let's not go with abilities let's go with spells yeah spells would actually make more sense wouldn't it there we go lesser hill that'll do so we can set that to number one and then we can also i'll tell you what just so we don't have to find that icon again let's just copy and paste that and then just change that to two so that's done then we can look for the smite icon again if you can't find the icon that you actually want just pick something that you you know you're going to remember okay look i decided to go with chastise because i couldn't be bothered waiting around all day just trying to find that we'll even give jump an icon as well again we don't really need to but just so the stream deck looks nice and pretty we'll give it a, a nice random icon a raffi highlands that can just be our jump symbol again You'll see shortly why I like to have everything symbolised. But now, what we need to do now is go in game and get these so they actually work. So now we're back in game. If we was to just literally, we'll make a very, very, a couple of very simple macros. So we know number one is going to heal ourselves. So we're going to want to. So we'll set up one macro which will be lesser heal self. So now, if we put that in number one, hopefully. It will, even if I've got no name needed targeted, it should still heal me, which it does. So then we need to move Smite over and then basically do exactly the same thing. But cut. So we'll just copy and paste this and then you'll be able to use this macro all the way through, change it for all different heals. We'll call this one heal, uh, Lesser Hill Warrior. So Lesser Hill Warrior. We'll paste everything in and all we'll do is just change you got to remember, this will rank up naturally. So as you train new ranks, this will rank up with it if you wasn't looking to down rank anyway. So we'll change this to no name needed. And then we can slot that into number two. Now, no, I don't need anything targeted. If I press number two, which will be number two on the stream deck, number one will heal me, number two will heal the warrior. Perfect. Now for Smite, what we need to do is we want a, a, a special macro for Smite. So we want to show tooltip, and then we want to target no name needed assist and then cast smite that's it so what it's going to do it's going to target him and then it's going to tar it's going to cast smite at whatever that's targeting so if we now jump in game real quick and i'll show you how this works so now we're on the warrior i am obviously as you can see just le level one nothing uh, nothing exciting going on here i was just firing away and forgot we didn't even put the follow button on so what we <laughs> what we also need here is if we just paste this whatever it is it doesn't matter and then we'll just set this up as follow and i've got follow bound in game at number four but obviously you can put it on as whatever you want and then if you want to change the icon again obviously you can change it to whatever whatever you want I'll just have it like that but it says follow on the on the actual stream deck itself so obviously I know what it is now we can jump back onto the warrior we're parted up you can see I'm moving both characters around obviously because I'm using the mouse on this one and then the other one's moving around using the W A S and D that we set up so I can moonwalk it backwards if I want or forwards or you know strafe around whatever I need it's just it's just for quality of life just to be able to move it around as needs be so now all I'll do is on the stream deck I'll press the, the obviously the follow button and now it'll be following me if now we go and actually try to fight something, obviously I'm going to be controlling the majority of the time I'm playing, I'm now controlling this character, so my warrior, on my mouse. So number one, you know, we set the mouse software up straight away. So I know number one's heroic strike. So I, what I would also be tempted to do here is actually set up a specific macro for a start start attack macro. So we'll call this heroic strike, and then we're going to want to show tool tip. Show tool. I can't really can't spell today. Go to all tip, uh, heroic strike. We're going to want to slash start attack, and then we're going to want to cast heroic strike. That means I've only got to press one, one. Once I've got something targeted, yeah, I'll press one, and then it will just start smashing it. So I want to zoom right out so you can actually see what my priest is doing. 
But now look, if I target that with a priest, well, I'm not targeting anything with a priest, you know, the priest is just on follow. But I can now start getting that to smite at the same time, you know, as me running in and attacking. I could have took it off follow first, which would have helped. But as you can see, you know, I'm, I've am i got full control. So if I take it off a of follow and then start smiting while I'm running in, I can start heroic striking, you know, trying to keep aggro off of, off of the priest and simply press four. Uh, that's jump. <laughs> um, yeah, press press forward to obviously get it to follow. And then again, just start start smiting. If my warrior needs a heal, I can I can quickly chuck it a heal. As you'll see now, it doesn't need one, but you know it's just the, the whole point of this is to have full control over everything. So even though you know my priest is behind, still smiting. All right, it's own, but you, I mean you get the point. And obviously you can set this up however you want. And it's just very easy to to basically take my hand off of the Tartarus just for a second while I then can stop that one following I'm still attacking perfectly fine on one but still casting on the other you know I've just got control over both characters complete control so we'll get that on follow again now quite honestly that's about it it's all about just getting this stream deck set up how you feel comfortable you know if you have if you're using a keyboard it doesn't matter yes I use a Tartarus but that makes no difference at all because you're more or less just controlling your main character with your mouse although you don't need to you can control it on mouse and keyboard and then just occasionally you know press buttons on the stream deck to throw heel around or do whatever you need i've sort of got used to now just controlling my main character with my thumb on my mouse basically whilst then doing things on the other one which is normally you're only spamming one button couple of advanced tips and i say advanced tips but these are things that i do when i'm higher level so let's say you're playing a character where it's not too important what buttons are pressed or you know let's say you've got things that react you know so i don't know you get a chance to get a free shadow bolt or Whatever, what you can do if we just jump into the Stream Deck software, and I'll do this on the main PC, is on here, what you could do, so this is actually, this is my main PC Stream Deck, so, you know, it's my Druid buffs, Fishing, Cooking, Enchanting, DE, Engineer, I have all my professions on here, so I don't need them on the bar, I even use, like, to drink, you know, I press a button on my Stream Deck to drink, um, and then obviously uh, mark, target markers as well. Um, all of these are just different things I use for, I mean, they all say one, but it's actually just what I've been messing about with for this video, actually. Um, so then if we go to, there's 19 people watching my Twitch channel, I haven't streamed for two days. Uh, anyway, so what you can do here is you can go to Stream Deck and then we can have Random Action. So if we go to Random Action, we could then go to System and we can drag in a bunch of hotkeys and you could have this set to, I don't know, one, this one set to two, this one set to three, and I don't know, maybe that's like Heroic Strike, uh, Revenge, I don't know, Rend, Thunderclap, whatever. You could just set loads and you can quite literally just spam that one button and it'll just pick something at random off of that button or you could ca you can cast sequence it so you could just put it to go one, four, five, one, three, four, one, but you know, whatever order you want, which might be a really, you could more or less set a rotation up of everything that you want to do just by pressing it. Now you'll probably need to put pauses in there as well, or, or you know, naturally just pause because you know GCD. If you spam it, it's going to keep trying to press it and it's going to skip stuff. But if you get used to just every one and a half seconds or whatever, you know, just pressing it, you can more or less do a full rotation on one button. But these are things that you're going to have to play around with. You know, I use... It in probably a different way that you will once you get used to it. But I think using sort of the random action key can be another really good way to use it. I mean, ultimately, we'll leave it there because you're going to... You, I've now gave you the knowledge of how I do it, you know, how I have mine set up and what I do, how it doesn't break TOS, how I find it very, very fun to do to do two characters at once as well. It's just a bit more of a challenge. It's, you know... It, it makes killing a lot easier, especially if you've just got some OP class behind you that you just spam one button on. You know, it, it speeds everything up. This is going to be amazing for primal farming in TBC, by the way. And I'm sure there's things in retail that this could be useful for if you're a retail player. But yeah, ultimately, that's it. It is only for dual boxing. You know, I say multi boxing, but it is. It's more than one. But you know, I, you couldn't really do more than two like this unless you can. You had two or three accounts running on the the other PC and one of your stream deck buttons was alt tab because then you could alt tab between the three screens and press buttons on all of them that's how I would do it but you know I wouldn't I, I'm only interested in two because running two is enough for me my brain can't handle much more than that uh, but if you found this useful obviously please make sure you do like it really helps out subscribe to the channel for more well just loads of content TBC content ashes of creation content this sort of content uh, and I'll see you on the next one